All right. And when it comes to new Phyrexia, I, I think that set, ugh, I don't know, man. I'm not excited about it. <clears throat> I, uh, I think Toxic is silly. Um, it's like Infect, but not good. <laughs> I mean, I like the, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's nice to have some more, like, things to do with Toxic and, you know, or Infect, rather. Um, to have, like, a, uh, you know, something more you can do with, like, a Tribal Infect thing, you know, I guess. But I'm not excited about it, and I certainly didn't make any big moves from New Phyrexia in my Modern Infect deck. Which is a beloved deck to me. Um, if you guys can think of anything that I should put in there, I'm gonna, you know, I'd love to hear. Uh, you just never know. Like I was saying, um, what I saw on uh, MTG Deckmasters had inspired me um, to go ahead and take out a couple things and add a couple things. So something to think about um so if anybody has any suggestions maybe there is some new phyrexia card that would be just the bee's knees in here all right let's see here gold fishing right all right boom oh that looks a lot better a lot of lands all right so let's let's do it. What do we have here? Hmm. Got the tainted. Okay, draw. Tap two and play Fiendy Fang Bearer. And we got a counter here to keep track of our poison. There's our Gliss Gliss. Alright. Alright. Well, I might as well play the change of even though we don't have a swamp on the board. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and tap one. We'll hit that with uh, the Blossoming Defense. We'll make our Glistener Elf. Um, we'll consequently become a 3-3, three, three, and we're going to swing in there. And I guess we'll swing in here with Finn as well, assuming I'm sure our opponent will have something on the board. But in any case, for the sake of argument, that is going to net us five poison counters. All right. In any case, oh, we had three mana floating, didn't we? I guess we'll go ahead and tap those on our secondary and uh, play the Viridian Corruptor so it'll have Infect. All right. Oh, nice. All right. So we'll go one, two, three. We'll go ahead and play Imperious Perfect. Other elf creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So that's going to be a two, two, and that's going to be a three, three. So we will go ahead and swing in here, here, and here. So there's one, two, oh, was it? three, four, five, six, seven. So boom, there you have it. Um, was that turn, turn five, I believe? Not, not the greatest. Could be a little quicker. Um, but let's go ahead and let's, let's roll them up again. And what do you guys think about new Phyrexia? You know, I uh, had a, two complete bundles uh, in my Amazon cart. Um, I didn't want to get into the, you know, getting one from my local game store. Just because uh, I like to buy certain things from my local game store. And certain uh, products are... I get off Amazon because they're they're so cheap, especially when it comes to like getting something like a pre-release. Not that I'm I hate Amazon, I will say that, uh, or as I call it, Spirit Halloween. Um, oops, uh, 
Where was I? What was I talking about? What was I singing? What was it? Spirit Halloween. Um, in any case, so, you know, some sets I just love. Like Brothers War, I think it's just bopping, man. I love the Brothers War. Uh, I thought that the Dominaria remastered was an awesome thing. I think they did that almost as like a, I don't know if it was planned. I mean, I know the sets are usually a year or better out, but I almost think Dominaria remastered, they popped out real quick because of the outrage of uh, the 30th anniversary. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got Blossoming Defense. We got Ren's Run. We got Viridian. Man, I must... I know I shuffled these good from doing the uh, the deck showcase, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't, right? All right. Any more than 18 lands in here is no good. And I only have two tainted lands. Um, so six swamps. I mean, usually it's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get a problem where, does anybody ever like organize their deck and then it seems to take like a few games. There we go, that looks better. All right, so let us go ahead and play the forest. Corruptor, got the Vanquisher, got the Murr. Okay, all right. All right. Let's go ahead and draw the card. Oh, do that. So turn two, we are going to tap two. We're going to play Eaker Claw Murr. Uh, it's an infect. It's a 1-1, one, one, but whenever it's blocked, it gets a 2-2. Two, two. If only it would get the trample, too. Overpowered much. All right, boom, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. So I think, let's see, we'll play these. Tap three, we're gonna play Viridian Corruptor. In fact, when Viridian Corruptor enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact, oh boy. All right, we're gonna swing in for there for one with our infect, netting one infect. All right, so thus ends turn three. Perfect. Certainly. Play Tainted Wood. All right, and I think what we'll do is we'll go one, two, three, four. And we're going to play Viridian Corruptor, and we're going to play Glistener Elf. Oh, I forgot to untap that mirror. Oh, goodness. All right. We'll swing in here, netting three. Perfect. All right. Thus ends turn forward. Oh, wait, hey, guy. Now I'm getting Lando Calrissian, man. So we'll go one, two, and play the Ren's Run Vanquisher, which is a three, three for death with death touch. And uh, as additional cost to play Ren's Run Vanquisher, reveal an elf card from your hand or pay three. <laughs> Holy, that's a swamp. So we're going to go two, three, four, five, six. And uh, that's going to net nine. Oh, man. We got this at nine. Was I? I feel like no. I feel like that should have been. All right. In any case. So what is the uh, what's the consensus on these credit card looking? Uh, they look like the old. Um, was it like Citibank or something? That's what those complete cards look like to me. The lands look like garbage, too. But I guess it's opinion. Art is in the eye of the beholder, as it were. But um, I don't like them at all. And I think that complete bundle is a total waste of money. After I saw what it was, I was like, oh my goodness. Um, as soon as I saw someone open, I was like, eh. No, thanks. I'm not, I'm not real big on those, uh, those greedy cash grabs. 
All right. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Mm. <laughs> so funny. All right. All right, burn diddly. Certainly. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna cut the deck. Ah, what the heck, you gotta pick it up anyways, right? I swear, every time I organize the cards and do a video of them, it takes so much. It's like, man, you shuffle them so much, they can't be so bulky. If it happens again, we're going to peek into the, the stack of cards and see exactly where these lands are. Because I want to know. Yes, I, I definitely want to know where these lands are. <laughs> There's one. This isn't bad. There's no big of a taint. Oh. Yeah, this is not a bad thing. Very interesting. Yeah, I'd say that the lands weren't uh, <laughs> weren't bound up on each other at all. But I will tell you, the uh, Imperious Perfect could find its way out of here even though i do like the one one on the elves but with those uh those eight boost cards to do instant speed uh give it some beef as it were um i don't know they're leaving the one one counter on there the prefect's a good card plus making the tokens not all that bad either all right let's see here come on now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Certainly. Oh, already looking good. Look at that. Totally land flooded, but oh well. Okay, let's go land on our wastes because we don't really have a play. So, there. Turn two, draw. Oh, there's Gliss, Gliss. That's a good thing. We'll tap one, play the Gliss. Okay. Three, pull, up, oh, swampo. Okay, okay. Certainly, sir. Tap those. Destroy artifact when Viridian Corruptor enters the battlefield, but I doubt anybody has an artifact out at this point, considering I'm playing with myself, right? Oh, oh! Um, <laughs> static much? Swing in for one with the Gliss Gliss. All right, perfect. Pass turn, back to me, draw the card. Oh, we got the Blight Fang. All right, and, uh, hmm. Well, you know what? I think we're gonna go one, two, three. I think we're gonna play the Blight Fang. I think we'll swing in here and we'll net up three counters. So we're four, pass turn. Certainly a Swamp, why not? We'll play that. You like that swamp? I do. We like it. It's nice. Put that right there. All right. Well, Finn the Fang Bear, Death Touch 1 3. Whenever a creature you control Death Touch deals combat damage to a player, that player gets two poison counters. So, right there's three poison counters plus two. That's five poison counters. And that will put us at nine again, which is an unfortunate number. So that's what happened to us last draw, as I remember correctly, which I better because it just happened. All right. Any case, what do we have here? Horrible glare. That's what we have. Get that. Wipe that glare off. All right. Anyways, obviously we'll just swing in. 
do that damage. Give those counters. And what do you think? One more time. Will it uh, will it jam up again though? Will it jam up? What are your thoughts on poison counters in Commander, particularly? My thoughts are that it's going to go up to twenty. Maybe it should. It probably should. But then again, I think like if you're a lone poison counter person, um, I've seen the Skittles. Um, I played some Skittles, and I can say that I've seen Skittles become a victim. Uh, Skitherix the Blight Dragon. So I'm talking about. Um, I've seen, you know, I think it's a difficult, uh, in commander for somebody to go that route of, uh, infect anyways, because as soon as they hit the board, everybody else at the table is like, let's get rid of infect guy and then we'll play our commander. And when I say play our commander, I don't mean play the commander from the commands zone. I mean, let's get, let's, I'll team up and kill Mr. Infect. Then we'll play commander, <laughs> as it were. That's what I do. All right. How's that looking? A couple of Atlanta wares. All right. Why not? Go like that. Tap one. Play Gliss. This is going to be a good one. I feel real good about this. All right. This will be great. You guys are going to love it. I'm going to love it. And we're all going to be happy. So. There we go. Let's play the wastes. Um, and we will tap one to swing in with the Gliss on our elf. Tap one green, hit it with giant growth. And uh, that's going to be turn two, four poison counters. So that is what you want to see. It's nice when something works, you know what I mean? Um, so there we are. Let us draw. All right. So weird playing goldfish like this. Um, anyways, we're on turn three. So I say we go one, two, and bring out Plague Stinger. Whoops. Giant growth out of there. All right. And we'll swing in for one. Boom. Howard. Do you guys know King of the Hill? Coming back. Coming back. New season. True story. It was announced. Um, the guy that plays Khan is not going to do the voice of Khan anymore. Um, Min will be back. Um, Kathy Najimi, uh, the lady I can't think of her name, hilarious. It does Bobby's voice. Uh, it's going to be 17 years after uh, King of the Hill. All right, where were we? Upkeep, upkeep. That's right. So. There's where we're at. We pulled another Gliss. So we'll play the Gliss on our main phase. Uh, not play our land. So I guess we'll tap these and we'll play our Orin Assassin with our Death Touch 1-1. One, one, and all creatures able to block Orin Assassin do so. And we will swing in right here for two. So. There you have it. Oh. Clean it up. Draw it. Oh, we got a Viridian Corruptor. One, two, three. Enters the battlefield. Destroy target artifact. <laughs> As if there were one. And we might as well play our land. So let's just swing in, I guess with everybody and this is a good example let's say like at this point in the game they'll have somebody on the board it's not like playing alone so we'll swing in with our Orin assassin and all creatures able to block or an assassin do so meanwhile one poison counter two poison counter three poison counter just like that and i think that gets us one two three and look at that the magic number again nine because this old boy, he had summoning sickness. That's a gale, actually. Sorry. Um, she had summoning sickness. So there we are, back to that nine again. And we like to get around that by giant growth and uh, getting some more of those pump spells. But you do what you do. And uh, obviously then we'd be swinging in. Oh, look at there, hooded blight fang. So, yeah, I mean, 
pretty efficient. Uh, you got your life gain via hooded blight fang. You have death touch, which is going to keep people from attacking you. You got death touch board wipe. We have a little bit of removal in here. This is a deck, you know, you can work around. So if you want to do it mono green as well, um, you know, I don't, there is some things you could get to do that block effect, but not with death touch. Um, I thought about the ways I could do just mono green. And um, I think like somebody like MTG deck masters would do this mono green um, and find ways around it. But I do like doing the Golgari just for a couple of things and mainly being those Auron assassins. Um, I really love having them on there. So what are your thoughts on the new Phyrexia? I do not like it. I'm a naysayer. I'm saying thumbs down. Not going to be buying that. I may buy a couple boosters to open up and do our thing on here. But other than that, I wouldn't expect to see uh, the old man buying too many of those. So you guys want to see an old one right here? Look at that. It's 20, right? But look at why. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's an oldie. See that? Ninth. All right, anyways. Anyhow. There you have it. So, honestly, this is probably my, my bread and butter in my modern deck. Just because I said, I don't know if it's America or this part of the world, but modern is just does not seem to be popular at all. So I don't invest too much money into it, but... How do you like it? You know, I will play it anytime. And I particularly like the insanity of three and four player modern. So anybody in my area, being Michigan, uh, the West Michigan, four, three and four player modern, I want to do it. I want to do it, man. So all the best. Make the decks. And uh, it's coming.